What is going on guys? My name is Lexus E. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, you read the title correctly. We picked up another, another project one. car and no, it's not one of these behind me. And of course, I'm not going to sugarcoat it or try to hype it up because you already read the title. You've seen the picture. It is a 2001 Lexus IS300 with the legendary 2JZ motor in it. And yes, we got it for less than a thousand dollars from auction. Yes, it's run and drive. It does have high mileage and a few other uh, baggage that came with the car, but we are super excited. I'm super excited to get this project going. And uh, let's just get this video going because there's so much to go over and I'll explain exactly why we picked up this bad boy right here I have had five of these cars already and this makes it number six and I just can't get enough of this IS 300 So without further ado guys, let's get this video going So first things first guys believe me I am just as surprised and as excited as you guys are wife Not so much because we're running out of space to park all these vehicles But that does not matter because we literally I personally think stole this car because it's worth like over four to five thousand as it sits Now this one does have a little bit of a damage on on the backside which does not matter because we're going to be building this car and uh quite honestly i'm actually letting you guys decide what you want this thing to become so we're going to talk a little bit more about that later but first things first i literally have not opened this car i haven't looked inside of it all i have is the key thanks to my buddy at renworks he works on all kinds of jdm and german cars they do all kinds of things from performance to uh, everything i mean they even work on lamborghinis but uh, he let me park it here when the truck showed up so now it is up to us to get the sucker running check it all out make sure everything's legit so let's first kind of walk around the car i did look a little bit and uh, i've seen well i'll be honest half of this damage i did not see in the pictures from the auction site so of course that's normal like for example this bumper piece right here is completely broken off that could be from loading uh, the car when they did it uh, you do have some uh, decent sized tires on here they got a little bit of tread left on it wheels look decent they have been curved quite a bit brakes are completely rusted through this is normal on all is 300s of course you will rub through that uh, fender liner i'm used to that but you do have a little bit of damage here that i did not see so i'm trying to kind of piece this together figure out what exactly went wrong with this car it does have 209,000 miles i know it seems like a lot but believe me for this 2jz motor if anybody knows that we're talking about that is literally just breaking miles you do have a little bit of a damage here on the side quite honestly actually that door's kind of dented in you can really see in the in the video but not in person but most of that as you can tell is yellow paint so clearly she he somebody sideswiped the uh, guardrail here uh, but most of that will come off anyway so that is not a lot of work at all and then we'll come to the back side this is where it gets really fun um so in the pictures in the auction this is uh the trunk is actually lifted up so i did not see this because i figured the trunk was in good condition so i was just going to reuse it uh bumper wise there is no bumper uh <laughs> And then this uh, bumper reinforcement on the backside, you can see what happened here. She definitely took a little smackaroo on the backside, uh, broke the tail light. So it looks like main impact happened here because it kind of uh, cracked this off, uh, the little uh, bracket or brace or whatever that hooks up to the uh, body itself. So of course, because now the trunk does not close, so that's probably why they have it taped up. But besides that, on this side, we are looking pretty clean. I don't see any damage on here at all. Uh, of course, paint fading here being that this is a 2001, so 21 year old car, almost 23 years but the sunroof looks like it works everything's good condition windshield is as well so from what i can uh gather i'm gonna i'm trying to figure out what went wrong here i think the car got smacked in the back and most likely hit the guardrail got pushed into the guardrail or something so it probably happened on the highway who knows does not matter it just means that we get to have fun and we're going to build this car our way so let's look inside man i have not figured out any of this yet let me see if it still has that is 300 smell oh the car is locked that's a good sign so let's go ahead and pop this key looks like a universal key somebody made so okay that works oh wow look at that that's actually pretty clean i mean yes a little dirty on there but this is fabric oh my god it smells like an is 300 for anybody that had one you know exactly what i'm talking about oh this is going to be amazing brings back so many memories so seats look good they're not ripped anywhere and i love the uh two-tone so it's got the suede in the center that seat looks good back everything oh my god this car's legit looks in good condition what okay so Oh, steering wheel, you got the down on the front side for the uh, paddle shifters, I guess you can call it. And then up is actually on the back, which is pretty cool. When my first uh, IS300 was there, I literally had no idea how to uh, upshift. So I kept downshifting, and then I'll have to put it in automatic to put it back in normal mode. <laughs> so it brings back a lot of memories. Oh, it does have an upgraded sound system, which is good. So we can have Bluetooth looks like. That's amazing. God, I, I know you guys are like, dude, what? A thousand dollar car when you have a hundred thousand dollar GTR and everything else. But I am super stoked about this car. Like I legit 
legitimately love my IS 300s. I'm a huge fan. And this specifically mostly because of the 2JZ motor. So let me tell you a little bit. My first car that I had was an IS 300 that I turboed. Now that was my project for uh, my senior project, which you're supposed to spend 30 bucks on. I spent $10,000 being 18 years old. So every paycheck went to that car and I'm gonna post some pictures up here of the car. Uh, it, it like, it set me off, man. And of course the 2JZ came from the Supra from watching Too Fast, Too Furious. This is your car. My car? Pop the hood. 2JZ engine, no shit. And that's what we picked this bad boy up again. So of course, let's pop the uh, trunk. And let's talk about the most important part of this whole car and why we picked it up. So, 2JZ, what are you talking about, Alex? I'm talking about the Supra. The Supra. Supra! The Supra everybody knows and talks about it, makes all kinds of memes about. The 2JZ is a bulletproof inline six motor that is literally amazing. Now this one does have automatic transmission, not a bad deal, uh, doesn't matter because we might be swapping it depending what you guys want us to do with the car. Before I pop the hood, the way it's designed, and I'm just gonna call it right now, it's probably broken. So the hood hinge, whatever you wanna call it, that holds up the hood. On most cars, it just sits like on the side of your um, apron, I guess, over here. It's not attached to the hood. Well, on the IS300s, it's part of the hood. So what I mean by that, and let me guess, I'm gonna pop this open and it's broken. Yeah, oh yeah, no, it's not even there. So it would attach and literally um, be able to be closed, I guess, so locked in right there, and it's literally part of the hood. Well, this one is completely missing. So so let's talk about this 2JZ motor, guys. Uh, God, I gotta get something to hold this hood up so I can actually look at stuff, but it is super clean. And the reason I really love this car is because, well, three owners, tons of uh, maintenance done on already. As you can tell, it just had a timing belt done at 153,000 miles, which is super important. I'm not seeing any big leaks. Well, no, I changed my mind. There is a little bit of leaks on here coming from somewhere, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be working on this car anyways. I love the fact that the stock intake as well, which is a good sign that nobody really messed with this car. Stock headers, stock everything, guys. This is such a good start for us. So we got to get this thing rolling. We got to get it started. Started, and I want to know and I want to see if uh, how it runs. I have no idea. I'm gonna have a jumper box here. I'm gonna uh, attach real quick. I'm gonna find something to hold the hood up with. We're gonna jump start the car and then take it for a quick spin, guys. And then we're gonna talk about why I picked this thing up. I, I can't believe I'm so freaking excited, but I was super pumped when it happened. Like, literally, I was sitting at work and I was like, dude. I'm gonna hop on a Copart real quick. First mistake, because I love that place. And uh, literally, hour, hour and a half later, I won this car. Like, nobody was even bidding on it, and it blew my mind. So here we are with our 2JZ guys. Drop a like if you love Supras, if you love the 2JZ motor. And uh, let's get this bad boy fired up real quick. Alrighty, guys, we're at 85% on the battery. So let's go ahead and hook it up here. This is an old battery. It's actually from 2019, so it has been uh, definitely used enough we're gonna have to put a new one in there i heard clicking i'm hearing clicking that's a good sign guys all right let's go get uh hop in inside real quick and get this bad boy started god i'm so pumped all right will there be life come on 2j don't let me down oh oh everything came on all the lights are there all right battery definitely has been decked because it's showing 1 a.m oh is it not enough battery well, let's redo that again. Let's adjust the cables real quick. Let's go like that real quick. All right, let's try that again. All right, guys, look at that. Now, all of a sudden, uh, after letting her charge a little bit, we are good. She is running with no lights on. What? And we got a half a tank of fuel. So that's like an extra, I don't know, uh, probably premium. So $60, $70. So that's awesome. God, she sounds so freaking good. Look at that motor. Just listen to that motor, guys. Not a tick, not an issue, belt's running good. Wow, okay, let's check the oil. I forgot to check the oil completely, so I wanna make sure we have the oil in here. Now we're good, it looks clean too. I wonder when the oil change was done last. Please no white foam, please no white foam. No, clean as a whistle, boys. Oh my God, this cover right here is so ugly in my opinion, but I like the fact that you can tell these have not been touched at all. So that means somebody took care of it. Nobody really messed with this. The interior is completely clean. Exterior is clean. Under the hood's clean. Oh, dude, this is so freaking awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna let it uh, run a little bit and charge up. While it's doing that, let's just uh, explore a little more. See what else is uh, is going on or not going on in this car. Let's see. I haven't looked inside here yet. What's in the back seats? Look how clean this interior is. Now it is missing the rugs. No, it actually has the 
Rugs in here. Wow. Oh, there's the hood. Look at that, guys. There she is. Yep. That was, that's what goes uh, under the hood. And I guess it broke off. Yeah, it broke off the tip on that. Not a big deal, but uh, God, look. Everything is still working. No freaking way. Everything looks so clean. Look at this leather. God, it's so comfortable. And anybody that had a Lexus before, you know what I'm talking about when I say it just smells good in here. That's probably for the trunk. So you can actually open this up and then put your skis through here, whatever you need to, if you need more space. Man, I love this car. I legitimately am so freaking excited. Oh, the most important part, guys. Look at that. They even left uh, the shifter for us, man. Everybody used to steal these off of auction. Unless this is an updated one. Yeah, this is upgraded, actually. So we'll have this in here, which is great. I can listen to music. No way. Is that the main? What? Dude, it's still got the original uh, manual in here and everything. That's so sick. Look at that. What? Oh, we got the spare key, boys. Look at this. Dude, this sucker's in such a good shape. I don't care what people say. 200000 doesn't mean anything, especially on the Lexus. But we'll have the spare key in here, which is awesome. Uh, what else we got? We got the Lexus pen. Are you kidding me, bro? It literally says Lexus on it. Wow. With all the master techs on here. This is sick, man. It literally says uh, the names of the master techs when it has been uh, operated or inspected and everything. This is so awesome, guys. I can't, I, I just, I'm talking so much, guys, and I'm sorry, but that's just like, I get excited about cars. I don't care how much it costs. I just love cars. So most important part, as you can tell, I'm getting a little hot in here, is does the AC work? And does the battery hopefully not die when I kick it on? No way. You can hear the compressor kick on. That's good. And yes, we do. There it goes. Oh my God, that is so sick. You even have auto mode in 2001. What? Now this one doesn't have, nope, it doesn't have heated seats because it's not a premium or whatever, but it does have power and snow modes. This is so awesome. We've got a free towel here, man. We can wipe down the car, you know? Let's get this bad boy on the road. All right, guys, first things first, let's buckle up for safety. Oh my God, I don't remember all this. So uh, let's see, headlights, do they work? We got headlights. They're HIDs too. That's awesome. Oh, no, back. Yeah, the light came off of the tail light because, of course, it's busted. Now, power seats. Yes. <laughs> Dude, this is such a score. I need you to focus, camera. This is a very important magical moment for me right now. All right. So, we're good here. Rear end looks like crap, but we're just going straight home and uh, definitely just going to be coasting, not doing anything stupid. And uh, let's talk about this car. Oh, so smooth. Golly, man, this power steering. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday such an awesome car all right let's make it home alignment is good no weird noises sunroof 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 my man yes all right cool it just gets better and better for a thousand dollars we picked up a lexus is 300 with a crazy long maintenance record which matters slash doesn't because we're going to be doing some things to it now why did i pick up an is 300 and that's because guys i can't I, this is probably the 40th time today i'm saying it but it is because of the two jay-z inline six motor that everybody always talks about you've seen in the fast and furious you see it everywhere brakes good it's just an awesome platform now it does have like 215 horsepower which is not a lot but 20 years ago 200 to 300 horsepower is a big deal that's why i turboed my uh very first is 300 because it with eight pounds of boost i think it got like uh, i think 330 wheel or so which was awesome back in the day to tell somebody 20 years ago you making 300 wheel horsepower is like a big deal i mean everybody knows what i'm talking about guys nobody even talked about five to six hundred wheel because that was just non-existent you couldn't do that that took so much effort and time and money to do that most people just messed around with you know honda civics 2jz's rb26s 240sx all these cars nissans and stuff like that and we had a lot of fun with it you know but now being that a lot of the parts are a lot cheaper and you still got this, in my opinion, the best Toyota motor ever made. I mean, this thing is so bulletproof. Now, a lot of people are going to say, hey, this is a 2JZ GE, not a GTE. So it's not the same motor. Yes and no. The big difference on those, of course, is you got bigger... Um, uh, rods, you got uh, oil squirters in the block, so you have a little bit more stuff done. You got uh, oil feed and return lines already tapped into the block for turbo um, GTE motors, like on the Supras, which these don't have, but it's a super easy fix. And just by modifying this motor right now, you can get that same power super easy by slapping on the turbo. Which back in the day, a turbo kit for this car was like seven to eight thousand dollars. Now you can pick up a decent one from CX Racing for like twenty two, twenty four hundred bucks, and the horsepower goes up well over three hundred wheel. It's awesome. It's just so easy to work on this car and do a lot of work with it. And it's a lot cheaper than it used to be. That's why I'm grabbing this bad boy because that's what we're going to do. We're going to work on this thing. Now, before we do anything at all, before we start fixing the car, 
we're gonna check compression we're gonna do an oil change transmission we're gonna do all that to figure out make sure that this thing is a tip-top shape no issues I did see a little bit of oil leak on the uh, front engine cover which is not a big deal just overall man super stoked and excited to start this build so here's what we're gonna do with it after all this conversation and blah 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 talking what does that sound that did not sound good interesting noise trying to figure out if that's the drive shaft or something underneath it's not vibrating it just sounds it's like a humming noise anyways we'll figure it out we're going to be building this car so all right so what is the game plan with this car guys so the cool thing about it is this build is completely in your hands just because you subscribe to my channel because you've been awesome because you've been supportive i want you to decide what we do with this car we're going to build it so we can either a make this another fast straight line fast drag strip car especially being with the 2jz motor i am not worried about putting the power down on this thing now we will have to build the block transmission axles diff everything like that just like you would in any other car standalone ecu will do all of that and have another fast car real wheel drive which is a lot more dangerous but a lot more fun or b and this one is what kind of i'm leaning towards but it's totally up to you guys i want to make this thing a drift car now you're gonna be like oh that's why you got it all beat up you're not gonna fix this thing i'm going to fix it after we practice drifting a little bit but the whole point is to really like make this thing a super sick drifting car I, i've never done drifting you know what dk stands for donkey kong drift king what do you mean drill honestly i can't even do a, a good donut i've never done one in my life so this would be an awesome way to learn now why would i do it in the four-door sedan because this 2001 ice 300 weighs 3200 pounds it weighs less than a, a new mustang gt which is like 35 to 3600 it weighs like two to three hundred pounds less and it's a four-door and it's a real wheel drive doesn't have an lsd we can fix that just by welding the diff that's not a problem but this is such a great platform and like i said with the 2jz motor we don't need to really put a big turbo on here and stuff to have a lot of fun so comment down below what do you want to see us do with this car zero to 60 <laughs> this, this is funny you know keep in mind this was uh in 2001 zero to 60 on this 215 horsepower car guess it was like it was like 7.5 seconds <laughs> Yeah, like a, an ordinary, I think my Corolla, my 2021 Corolla can do faster times than this thing can. But it has the legendary 200 horsepower 2JZ because back in the day, this motor compa uh, competed with the RX-7. I don't know which motor they have, the rotary motor, I think, and the uh, um, RB26 or something like that. So back then they had a gentleman's agreement in Japan that every brand car maker will not exceed like 200, 220 horsepower. So they all detune their cars pretty much to be able to match that so that's where the motor came from but the numbers on this are low for a good reason but can be upped really really easily so quarter mile is like 15 seconds i mean i could walk faster than than this thing does a quarter mile but that doesn't matter the, guys this car feels so freaking amazing no issues at all can it downshift no we gotta put in sport mode manual mode fifth gear because it does have a five speed fourth gear quick shifts third gear Oh yes, all it's missing is some turbo spooling up noises and a blow off valve. Oh my gosh, this thing is gonna be amazing, guys. I am super excited. Comment down below, what do you want us to, to do with this car? I'm gonna post a poll on my Instagram as well. That's a cop, that is definitely a cop. All right, cool, he's going straight. That's uh, great news for us. I'm gonna post this on Instagram, a poll so you guys can decide what you wanna see. Either way, I'm gonna be super excited. Either way, this thing's gonna get built. Either way, we're gonna put a lot of money into it. But I picked this up because I wanted something that can relate to a lot of people. You know, you don't have to go and buy a fifty to hundred thousand dollar car to be able to have fun this car can literally be about 330 almost 400 horsepower crank just by doing a two three thousand dollar turbo upgrade or turbo kit overall so that's the cool thing about it what is that sound that must be the exhaust i think that's the exhaust because it is on the right side and i think it's kind of hanging there so <laughs> we got a little bit of adjustments to do but we don't need the exhaust i mean come on now that's uh for all the epa stuff that we don't believe in all right so before we get home we got a chance here to kind of mash on it i mean it gets up to speed i mean what do you expect it's not gonna be like oh my god mind-blowing <laughs> 200 000 miles and this thing has no rattle shakes vibrations nothing everything just feels good it's smooth it's ready for some twin tarp skis or maybe a big tarp ski and uh a lot fun to happen all right i'm backing into the garage and uh turns out i forgot no backup camera what's this the old school way i'm going to try to fit the gtr and the highest 300 in here i can't see what i'm doing Stop. 
Okay. Look at that. No check engine light, guys. Still running good like a dream. And I'm happy to announce, first off, we made it to the house. And second off, my wife is just as excited as I am about it, ain't you? <laughs> oh yeah, no, this is uh, this is great. We're gonna hide this car in here because uh, HOA will kill me. All right, leak. I see water. I see water. Water. Okay. Yeah, I know, right? Hopefully it's water. It drove good, guys. No issues at all. Uh, the the sound I was hearing that's because the exhaust is actually just flapping around there. So uh, you know, not a big deal. It don't even matter. We're just gonna work on it when we have time. Now I do want to open the truck though, since we made it home. I can actually cut this off and. See what's going on in here. Oh, they used a the good tape. I like that. I appreciate that so much. Don't worry, guys. This car will look so good once we're done with it. Now, we might even wrap this thing. I don't know. But this is definitely going to be part of the channel now. God, they really uh, did a number on this thing. My GTR is going to be so jealous. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean I'm sitting outside? Why? Okay, here it goes. Wide open. And we have night. Look at that. The Lexus trunk mat is in here. And we got free rope in case we break down. Boys, this, someone really took care of this thing. Uh, what do we got under here tell me we got a full spare spare tire come on full spare tire since that is how lexus does it usually what do we have so survey set <gasps> we do have a full size tire guys it's never even been taken off it's got a zip tie on it dude what all right i don't care what anybody says this thing is absolutely it, babe it's even got a spare tire wow. a full size. i know i know it's like meant to be now it does not close for a good reason yeah, no, it definitely doesn't close. <laughs> we'll fix that when it's time. Look how good that looks, guys. Oh, man. That front end just needs a body kit real quick, and then we'll be done. Everything looks good. Yes, there's already zip ties holding stuff underneath, which is great. And my wife found some in the glove compartment, which I somehow mix, missed. Uh, but uh, that's a good sign because, you know, let's be honest here. These will come in handy. And these are like the heavy-duty ones, too. So <laughs> we could strap down the motor with that if we wanted to. But anyways... What do you think, babe? What should we do? A drift build or drag strip? Because, I mean, we have one. The GTR, then we'll have the truck already getting built. Drift. Drift. Just so I can laugh at So you're going to support me buying eight sets of ties for every event? <laughs> you done said it. That's, I'm sorry. You guys is heard it, it. Is it cheaper than building a motor every time you build? Absolutely. Because <laughs> she doesn't understand. We're bouncing off the red line every time. <laughs> and I guess she's going to be on E85 as well. So we got a ton of that. Huh? This too? What? It's crazy, man. What's all this garbage talk? Anyways, guys, I am super excited. I hope you're just as excited as I am. I, I legit can't stop smiling. I bought a 2001 $975 IS300 that we bought with 200,000 miles on it. But it's going to be the dream car right there. This thing is going to be so much fun. Super cheap to build and super reliable, guys. And that's what we're aiming for on this one. Oh, we even got a super on the shirt. I mean, come on, man. Two JZs for life. And, uh, you know, the GTRs and everything else. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your cars. Anything you drive, it does not matter. And I will see you next time. Peace.